Welcome to the Printmaking Center. You're going to get to have a lot of fun today using our jelly plates. Please remember about your fingernails or anything sharp to be respectful. Use flat hands so that we don't scratch or cut into the surface today. I really don't want to send any notes home to moms or dads and having you having to do all extra chores because you ruined our printing plates. So be extra careful. Be very gentle. Use soft touches. Use the flat part of your fingernails. Oh, I got paint on my hands today. Look at me. I've already been a busy art teacher today. When you're working in printmaking, there's some things to remember. One thing is line direction. Another thing is fill color. And how do I get white? So let me give you some ideas. With line direction, the way that you draw with this marker is going to show up when you print. So I'm starting to fill up, and yes, today you can use this whole plate. That's why the little white paper's gone. The direction that I draw with this marker is going to show. If I want skinny lines, I stand the marker up straight and tall. And when I print, how I color is going to show. If I color scribble, scrabble across, I know it's a little tricky to see, but that's going to show up when I print. So I want to use the same direction. Like if I want the grass to look like it's growing tall, then I need to draw as though the grass was growing tall. I'm not putting my hand on the plate today. It's very important when you draw. Don't rest your hand on your drawing because can you see? I already picked up. What were you? Can you see the green? That came off my printing plate. If your hand is resting on the plate, you might ruin your picture. I've got a whole bunch of different things. Line direction is important. So I'm going to put some silly lines so you can see what happens. Another thing you need to think about is lots of color. That's what this one is to remind you of. Fill color. Now I'm working really fast today and I'm not doing anything terribly creative. I'm actually doing something kind of boring. It's just a blue sky and grass, but I want my blue sky to come all the way down and come in between my grass. So I want to work in between carefully with this grass. One thing you might want to consider is doing a little bit of flowers, thinking about buildings, thinking about what is near, what is far. I'm just trying to keep it pretty simple because I'm working really quickly so that you guys can get done and work on your own print today. Remember I said line direction? That means the direction you're coloring. Do you see how my sky is horizontal? And I'm trying to color horizontal when I use the marker because that helps people remember that the sky goes across. I'm trying to keep my hand from touching the jelly plate. I'm trying to be really gentle with it while I work. So you're thinking about line direction, filling up the, the plate with lots of color, and then how do I get white? Well, notice where I did not color it looks like a cloud. Let's see what happens when I put my paper down and rub it gently, see what happens. So see if I can get some white. Remember when you rub your paper to rub the whole thing? Peel it up carefully and look. I have a gorgeous print, except do you remember how I went across? That doesn't make any sense. Do you see I have white? If you want white in your, in your print, then you need to remember not to color that spot. Everything else should have lots of color. I'm looking forward to your print today. Remember to use a wipe when you're done and leave it super clean. Be very careful not to scratch your plate. Have fun printmaking today.